Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a Singularity container for an R package. And I just start doing it and when there's a waiting step, I'll tell a bit more why you want to do it. I will follow the Upmax documentation, you can find it here. And let's take a look at the procedure, there's one step, two step, three step, four steps. So that's how we're going to do four steps. Um, step one, create a Singularity script. Alright, let's do this. So uh, I need this file. So uh, let's go to my uh, to my files, to my terminal, and I'm making a folder to work in. So make there, I'm going to call it temp, uh, because it's a temporary folder and uh, it's empty. And in this folder, I'm going to create this Singularity script. So I'm going to copy paste it. I use an editor called mousepad, and this file needs to be called Singularity. So let's call that mousepad Singularity. So it creates a file called Singularity. Here I paste this, the thing. I close it. And now in my temp folder, I have a script called Singularity. I can show it on screen. There you have it. Uh, there's no enter at the end, but that's fine. Next step, build the Singularity container. All right, I'm just going to copy paste this there. And it needs my password. So for Singularity, you do need to use Linux or a virtual machine that runs Linux um, to be able to do it. Let's go through these commands. Sudo means as a super user, do something. So these are things that you only can do uh, when you have rights to do these higher level things. And for example, at the Upmax, at the Upmax you don't have these rights at all, else people would probably have different interests in how to, what to do with the cluster. Uh, so you don't have super user rights at Upmax. Um, no user has. That's why you need a local computer where you do have those rights. Um, so, so what it does, sudo is as a super user do the following. Use Singularity to build a container called mycontainer.singularity file, CIF is a Singularity file, from a Singularity script. And uh, that's what it's doing. And after that, when all these things are installed, I will show, talk it through the script now, uh, later. Um, when this is all done, you can run the container. The container doesn't need to install stuff anymore because everything is in it. Uh, and it can run without super user right, and then it can run on Bianca or Rackham. So let's take a look at the Singularity script here. So the first two lines is where the where the Singularity container um, inherits from. So you can use a, an, you can build up a Singularity container from scratch that you install the operating system, or maybe not, maybe that not, but like all the basic tools you need to be able to to do things. Um, that's a bad idea. Just pick a, a singularity. Just just pick a container that's already well set up. So, for example, I use uh, a Docker container from the Rocker, um, how called organization. So that's a Docker for R. And there's a container called Tidyverse, uh, and that already has all the Tidyverse packages installed. So this is my favorite container uh, to derive singularity containers from. Then the script has two sections. It has run script and it has post. Post is what it will be doing now, what it is doing now. So if I scroll down a bit, it's building up stuff. I have no idea what it's exactly doing. That's fine. Um, but after it has built the basic things, probably it's now converting the Docker container to a Singularity container and then run the, this post step. So the first line, it already starts with a comment, is that you needed to do this magic text that you don't get a warning of your a low kill, um, whatever that is. Uh, try removing it, you get a harmless warning. I didn't like it, so I just replaced it by a uh, United States uh, low kill. So a comma is a comma. Uh, a comma is a, like a, a number separator is a dot, for example. So it also feels feels safer to me, but you have to check for yourself. And this line now, the real magic starts. I say, all right, from our from our script, um, do 
install packages, the remote and the dev tools packages, you need both. And then here we finally gonna install the R package we need. So this R package uh, is here, so I'll just copy paste it and I'll show you. Like it needed to be an R package that's not on CRAN, because if it's on CRAN, then we have it at Upmax. Or un unless it's very new, right? Uh, so github.com slash there you go and now we are taken to this R package so I have no idea what it does I picked it because I found it and I can click on description to see what it does it's irrelevant what it does apparently it's a collection of pre-processing functions whatever that is um, and also I don't care I don't care too much uh, let's see there are some tests no continuous integration, all right, well, it is, uh, it's an R package, it's on a CRAN, uh, maybe because, well, we don't know. Um, but the important part of this R package is it's not on Upmax. So that's the purpose of the Singularity container, to, have a, to allow us to run this package from Rackham or from Bianca. Like on Rackham, you can install this package locally, but on Bianca, you don't have internet, so you really need to do this. The last lines in the script are here. So, uh, like percentage run script, R script, and then double quote, dollar, add double quote. What it says is if you run this container, with some input arguments, so dollar at and the quotes around it means all input arguments. Then do R script, the R script from the container, on those arguments. So the R, this R script that will be called will not be the R script on your local computer. Uh, maybe you don't even have it installed in your local computer. You don't need to. Uh, but we'll call R script from the container, which has this preprocess core installed. Um, so it will run the R script that can do more on your function arguments. Um, let's take a look at the next step. So we're now building this container. Well done. And um, let's take a look at the next step because we can already start on that is we need to create an R script for our container to use. And um, this is this is valid R code. I'm gonna make this R script now already. So this is build, I'm gonna open up another tab. Let's make it a bit bigger, there. And so it's, it's still working there. I'm gonna create this, an R script called my R script R. Sure, let me use my editor. And in this R script, we're going to put the text preprocessor core call summarize average log. I can put also something like message hello. I can, I can do that too. Hello. This is an example R script. So this is just an example R script for your analysis. You probably want to do your analysis here. All right, let's save it. And let's take a look. This is still busy. Like I can run it now on my computer and it will fail because it doesn't know this uh, package called preprocess core. So if I run it on my computer, it says, yeah, dear program, it will say hello. It always will do it at the start because I programmed it to do so. But then it says, dear program, there's no package called preprocess core. You've not installed it. That's correct. I've never installed it. But with the singularity container, when it's there, it will have this package installed. All right, so that's where you do your analysis in. When it's done, you run it like this, dot slash mycontain.sif. That is a big file. It can be a couple of gigabytes. And then you run your R script. Um, yep. So that is what we'll be doing when this is done. Um, I'm going to pause the video now, or at least I'm going to stop the video now, and I'll be back when this is done. All right, see you later. So I've been waiting a bit now, and I see this progress bar don't filling up. So I think something went wrong. So I press Ctrl C to stop the process. I press up to start it again. Type my 
the super user password again and then uh, let's see what happens this time All right um, I won't stick around again for for waiting this bit again so I'll see you when it's done hi the process has finished let's take a look at the documentation we were here we built our singularity container let's take a look at the script there so um, I scroll a bit up to see what happened there. So this is building an R package or stuff. This is warnings. We ignore those stuff, stuff, stuff. Here things is being installed. Ah, look here are packets remote and dev tools being installed. This is this magic line doing its thing. Yep. So it was a good thing I interrupted this earlier thing. Uh, this took about in total in the end like five to ten minutes so that was quite quick uh, comparatively to the other thing that took an infinite of course all right so we have our container we have written our r script already and now i'm gonna run that r script so you you dot slash my container my r script so it will say hello and it will say the context of the content of the function and here it does so so it says hello because we've added that and here it shows you the tech, the content of the function from preprocess score. And we can check if it's really our container. I've did this already, but let's do it again. When I run with my R, that it cannot find uh, the package preprocess score. So this video showed you how to create a singularity container for an R package to be used on an Upmax cluster, but it can be any cluster. And um, with that, I wish you a very good day. Bye.